right, everybody, what is going on on a Monday night? I'm going to wait for, I know, I see a couple of people making comments already. John, Bayou Rick, Bill, what's going on? So, um, I know it's late, but uh, it's not unusual for me to do late live feeds. We eat late, so um, by the time everybody else is, is done eating and getting ready for bed, I'm just now taking off of work and getting dinner together. So, I'm doing crab cakes. And um, I just kind of thought it'd be kind of cool to talk about crab cakes. So, if you can hear me okay, let me know. If you could, please. Let me turn this down. Yeah, if you can just let me know that you can hear me, that'd be awesome. Awesome, awesome. So, I'm just going to wait for that. And uh, then we can get started. Had me a little bit of wine tonight. So, I just need like thumbs up saying that you can hear me. Can you hear me? Maybe I need to text somebody and see if, if y'all got me. <clears throat> So can you hear me? So I don't know. Can you hear me or not? So I'm going to wait until I know for sure. For sure. Um, Bill. Let me see. Yeah, we're live. So yeah, I, I can't tell if you can hear me or not. Oh, you know what? Okay, all right. So now the, for some reason my my uh, my stuff wasn't coming through. All right, cool. All right, we got like twenty people on. That's nice. All right. <coughs> How's everybody doing? All right, cool. All right. That maybe there's a long delay tonight. Maybe that's what it is. Um, but. So for dinner, for dinner tonight, we're doing steaks, crab cakes, asparagus, some garlic bread, and um, and we got some clam chowder here. So Dwight, Chaz, what's going on, man? Loud and clear. Jason, Kirk, Kenny, Bob. So. What I really want to show you are the crab cakes. No, I don't know if you can see or not, but like these are loaded with lump crab meat. I mean, I got one little mini one here. <clears throat> so like these are seven ounce. These are nice. And then this one is like three and a half ounces. But look, it is loaded with lump crab meat. You see it's sticking out all over now, I've never done these in the smoker or, or grill. I've always put them in the oven. Uh, now, you can pan fry them. You can, um, I've never deep fried them. I personally always do them in the oven. So, the crab meat is, tech, is already cooked. But, when you, like these are like a Maryland style. So, there's like, it's almost all crab meat. Right? So, um, and the reason we're doing, where I, where I'm even talking about this is because uh, Groby's Foods is going to start offering crab meat, lump crab meat, Maryland crab meat. And um, we're also going to offer crab cakes, Maryland style crab cakes. So like I'm going to show you, not tonight, but I'm going to show you how to make a Maryland style crab cake where it's like all, all crab meat almost, right? And then um, with that, you could either get the crab meat and make it yourself or um, we can make them for you. You know what I mean? And uh, some people like that better. Some people like the project stuff. We'll see. So I'm going to put these in the, the grill here. The smoker. And it's running. Now I just took and put a laser down on the mat. Because I got the mats in here. <clears throat> and I got... 
So it's like 380 to 400, depending on where I put the, uh, the laser. So that should be good. So they're going to be in there for a good bit. Don't want to waste any. I'm going to throw the asparagus on too in just a few minutes. Brody <coughs> McCoy. Jumbo, yeah, that's right. Jumbo lump crab meat. <clears throat> it's not available yet. Um, we're just kind of like working out our deals now. And um, so in the next few weeks, um, now the end of this week, we should be offering crawfish, live crawfish. So we can ship crawfish right to your door. It'll be there like the next day <clears throat> by like 10 a.m. or by noon, something like that. Um, so that's that's our that's our next um, food that we're going to be offering. So, out of the people that are on here, um, do you guys eat crawfish, or is that like something that you would be interested in? And like, we just made a deal with the best cooker company that makes the cookers that you cook crawfish in. We just made a deal with them um, so we can give you guys like top of the line uh, equipment or stuff that you would need to boil your own crawfish, right? So, Bill Bachelor, the closest my wife gets to a crab or lobster or red lobster <laughs> on garlic rolls. Ma'am, whenever you do that stuff at home, it's so much better. I'm not going to go digging on red lobster, but <clears throat> that's not the best place to get seafood. This is New England clam chowder. All right. <clears throat> so what else we got? So what are you all, um, what are you guys um, growing up? I'm about to put these bad boys on. All right. I'm going to let those, uh, <clears throat> let those crab cakes get done first. I'll check them in about 15, 20 minutes. Hopefully we can be on long enough to where you can see the finished product. Because, man, they are amazing. They taste still amazing. Um... Clam chowder is good. Clam chowder is good. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Sal, what's going on, buddy? Jared, red or white broth? It's a white. So, see, can you see it? It's white. I don't like um, I don't like the Manhattan chowder, the red broth or whatever you want to call it. I don't, I don't care for it. I like the New England chowder. That's really all I like. Um, chowder is the bomb. Clam chowder, I love it. Um, Jason just finished the ribeye roast. I'm actually testing out a couple rubs right now. Um, let's see how they go. Um, what I do, I have two different rubs. One on each steak. And I'm going to, you know, see what they taste like side by side. Um, so we can kind of we're refining our our rub now. Hopefully uh, we'll have it out soon But it takes a lot of testing, you know, and I don't mind testing it because you get to eat steak and all kinds of good stuff Russell Did a butt last night. Heather. What's going on? Matt Myers. That's right. Chatter is awesome So we're talking about crab cakes and so have you guys and I've been all over the well, I have, I've been all over the world, but I've been all over the country, had crab cakes um, quite a few places, and very few places have good crab cakes. Maryland, you can get great, great crab cakes. Um, Louisiana, I mean, the thing is, is what, whatever you're used to, uh, it seems good. But once you have Maryland-style crab cakes, 
you don't go back to any other style because then you realize what a crab cake is really supposed to be like. Um, a lot of places they put way too much filler, lots of breadcrumbs, just all kinds of crap that you barely get any crab meat. And when you get a Maryland style crab cake, it is just loaded, loaded with crab meat. Like those seven ounce crab cakes, there's probably six and a half ounces of crab and a half ounce of filler. Like that's, it's just enough to form it into a ball. That's it. That's all you get for the filler on a Maryland style crab cake. You should see crab meat. Like when you eat a Maryland style crab cake and you, you break it open, you should see almost nothing but crab meat everywhere. So Charles, Charles Talbot, what's going on? Nate Cantu, what's up, buddy? Cheers. Jared, blue crab all the way. Jared, where are you from, buddy? <clears throat> um, let me see. Yeah, New England chair, clam chowder, hands down, is my only one. What do craw... Oh! What do crawfish taste like? <clears throat> I don't know that I can explain that. Um, uh, maybe somebody else can explain it really good I'm not very good with articulating um, um, something like that but uh, they are delicious I'm actually uh, I'm probably I'm gonna say I'm probably gonna be doing a crawfish bowl this week on the show so <clears throat> and then all next week I'm going to be um, doing different stuff with crawfish throughout the week so we're gonna do like crawfish rolls we might do like some crawfish Monica or something like I don't know. We'll do we'll do a bunch of different stuff. Dungeons crab I like Dungeons crab too. Um, <clears throat> but um, so this month for our challenge in the VIP, it's uh, kebab, right? <clears throat> so I've been doing kebabs all month long, and I actually thought I was going to be doing a kebab next week. Um, but the more I thought about it, I'm like I think I'm going to do next week's show. Because I'm judging all the kebabs next weekend. So I think next week's show is going to be the segue to the new challenge in the VIP. <clears throat> so you guys can guess right now what it might be. Uh, but I'm not going to mention it until the show. So the plan is, as long as we pull everything together, everything goes smooth. The plan is going to be to have a crawfish bowl at my house um, Sunday for the show. So I'll take... And show you exactly like the way when you buy the crawfish from us, the way you will receive them, um, what you need to do to them, and how you boil them. Okay, so I'm going to give you like the whole, the whole nine yards, so to speak. <clears throat> so that's going to be really cool. Um, it's going to be like 30 pounds of crawfish. That's a lot of crawfish. And I don't think the kids are going to be here this weekend. I'm not sure how I'm going to eat 30 pounds of crawfish. So, actually, so what I'll do is I'll do them, I'll let them cool down, I'll put them in the fridge, and then, like, um, uh, Monday, I'll, I'll take the crawfish tails out, and we'll make something uh, different, you know, we maybe we'll make a crawfish roll one day, we'll do um, a couple crawfish dishes throughout the week, and, um, you know, and then you can see just exactly what the deal is. Uh, Danny Serez, what's going on? Jennifer Bates, what's happening? Jason. Jason likes beef. Jason, have you ever had crawfish? So, um, they call it sucking heads and pinching tails. So, if you have never had it, you, you really need to try it. Yeah, they're like little, little mini lobsters. They are, they are like little mini lobsters. So, so, Scott says he had Female crab <clears throat> brisk? Is that bisque in South Carolina? I've never had anything that good since. So I come from Maryland. That's where I grew up. I know I live in Louisiana. I've been here for like 16 years. But I grew up in Maryland. And in Maryland, you know, you have, you have female and you have male crabs, right? And in Maryland, the male crabs are worth more than the female crabs. Um... Down here in Louisiana, they just bunch them all together. And it's kind of weird. When I first moved down here, I was like, I kind of thought you bought crabs 
the same way as I did in Maryland. But here, they just, they're all mixed together, males and females. Um, in Maryland, they separate the males from the females. And the males, they can charge more for. Uh, the male, uh, the meat in the male is a little sweeter. Um, and they're normally a little bit more full. Um, let me see. Mud bugs, that's right. They call them mud bugs. Let me see. What are some other names they call crawfish? So you got the crawfish, you got crawdads, you got mud mud bugs. Uh, and I know there's like probably three or four other names that they call crawfish down here. Um, can't say. Let me see. What does it say? Can't say. Where can, okay, so I don't know. Can hello from Aloha, Oregon. Now we do have some states that we cannot ship live crawfish to. Um, I think it's Washington State, um, Oregon, uh, Hawaii, Michigan, and there's a fifth one. I can't remember the name of it. I'm pretty sure I got those four right, and there's a fifth one I can't, I'm, I'm forgetting. But those states, by law, you're not allowed to ship live uh, crawfish to, or crabs, or anything live. Um, so if you live in one of those states, <clears throat> and you want to get crawfish or something that we sell live, um, you would have to, I think they have like a permit system, you'd have to get a permit, or if you know somebody lives across the state line, ship it to their house, and then you go pick it up. That's the easiest way to do it. That's if you're close to the state line. Christopher Beck, what is up? A mud roach. I've never heard them called mud roach, but I guess maybe they are. Yeah, that's right, crawdads. Crawdads. I just call them crawfish. Oh, and some people say crayfish. Um, I just call them crawfish. Um, some people call the crawfish crabs. They do. Uh, Jared says, I think. I'm not sure what he's talking about, but I'm sure if I look back, <clears throat> he's probably talking to somebody else. So, um, so yeah. So, we're going to be uh, shipping. Um, we're going to be shipping crawfish all across the United States. Um, so, if you live in, wherever you live and you're interested. My daughter's calling me. From the other room. <laughs> right? So let me see what she wants. Oh, she hung up. <clears throat> so yeah, she doesn't want to get out of her room. She wants to... Uh, she's probably wondering if the, uh, if the uh, crab cakes are done yet. Because she's been dying to have them. We shared one the other day. And she's been begging me to make uh, more cra um, uh, crab cakes. Yeah, right. So Rick just posted. Idaho is the one that I missed. Idaho, Michigan, Washington, Hawaii, and Oregon. The crab cakes are not done, but the um, the um, clam chowder is. Just use my bowl. Look at her. She's scrambling. She loves that stuff like I do. Now, Riley, Riley won't eat seafood. Um, so me and Tyler get to have all the crab cakes. You see those big, fat crab cakes? Those are all mine and Tyler's. Now, Riley will get some steak. I guess I'll let her have steak. I should make it to where if you don't eat crab cake, you don't get steak. Dad, don't do that. <laughs> Why? It'd be funny. All right. Anyway, um, Bob, you can order them. You just have to get somebody else, like, get them shipped to um, uh, a, a neighboring state, and you can go pick them up. That's really the only way to do it, man. Like I said, there's like a permit system or something like that that you can do, but I think that's probably a, a pain in the butt. How is it? Tyler. Oh, good? She's talking to me in Korean. <clears throat> so she's teaching herself Korean. Um, tell her to watch. You know you're on the live feed, right? Yeah, I right. do. You, you want to say anything? I'm not a She's, she's talking in Korean. So. As far as I know, she could be cussing me out. I don't know. Oh, she just laughed, so maybe she was. All right. What else we got? 
What time is it? Jared, it is crab cake time. Let me see what the crab cakes are looking for. Man. I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see inside here. But, let me see. Can you see? Can y'all? I don't know if you can see good enough or not. But they're coming along. <clears throat> they're not ready yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're not even close to ready. Um, what else we got? Permits are only for Idaho and Oregon. Okay, yeah, so the permits are only for Idaho and Oregon. So Washington State, you're just out of... So um, we can send um, cooked crawfish, and then all you have to do is heat them up. I don't know, like we haven't really talked about if we're going to offer that or not. I can't imagine that we wouldn't, you know, for especially for the states that you can't send live stuff to. So, um, so I don't know, me and Rick need to talk about that and kind of see if that's something that we want to do. But that would, that would just be, so we'd take the, craw, the sack of crawfish, we'd uh, boil them up for you, get them, you know, and the spices and all that kind of stuff, repackage them and send them off to you. Um, and then you get them still same, you know, next day air. Uh, and then you take, put them in your fridge. And when you want them, you just take them out and um, heat them up. Um, and or you can eat them cold doesn't really matter once they're cooked you can eat them cold or hot doesn't matter um, uh, I'll talk just like that after smoking a fat one baby I know clear uh, hold on uh, Jason fire therapy said hmm oh <laughs> so that's funny Jason um, I, I dig it and I'm on, I'm on board with that. So, uh, so yeah, no, um, so yeah, the, uh, crab cakes, they'll be done soon and I'll be throwing the steaks on. Actually, I'm going to, um, I'm going to go ahead and throw on the asparagus now and kind of get that, cause that can, that can sit there and roast along. So they can sit there and cook along with the uh, crab cakes. Um, by the way, uh, our sale on the um, the 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 skewers, the uh, the beast impalers, are gonna, is going to end soon. So as soon as the challenge is over for the kebab challenge, I'm taking them off sale. And right now it's like a forty percent savings. So they're like ten dollars and ninety seven cents a a set. So. Um, um, you know, and you know, people have been scarfing them up, and um, so I'm just letting you know now that they will be going off, not on sale anymore, um, starting at the end of this coming weekend. Um, so if you want them, you got to grab them now. Okay, so okay, Bob Phillips says he knows a few people to catch blue crawdads in a few streams up here in Washington, but never, but I, okay, yeah, so um. <clears throat> I, I don't know that they're plentiful enough for you to get like a sack when you when you deal with in the stream and stuff like that. It's kind of like in my yard um, uh, because of all the rain that we've been getting. You get um, crawfish. They're digging down. I don't even know. I haven't seen any out there. But you see little mounds of dirt, um, and that's where crawfish are digging. What? Crawfish. Yeah. <clears throat> so um, George Summers. From Hawaii, what's up? Let me see. Nom 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 yum. Yeah, that's right, Scott. It is. It is going to be yum in this uh, house here soon. What else? Washington neighbors states or Oregon and Idaho. Yeah, that's right. So it's like the little tri-state area there. They don't do the. Uh, you can't ship anything in there. No, nothing alive. Um. Let me see what time what time is it so it is 10 38 here at my house 10 38 at night but we eat late we eat late every single night um i think it's just been a habit because i work late and so you know we usually eat you know 10 30 11 o'clock at night sometimes 
you know. Um, if it's a, if it's an early night, we will eat about eight o'clock, and um, that's that's like when when I take off a little early and we kind of sit down. And we have like a family night, so uh, that's around eight o'clock. Um, yeah, so the crawfish will be in like thirty pound sacks, so that's enough. Depending on how your people eat, um, you can usually figure. I think I think I think people go by like about three pounds a person, but it depends on um, one if they're used to eating crawfish. If they're used to eating crawfish, um, they're they're gonna eat more. Uh, but if the crawfish is something new to them, they're gonna they're not gonna eat as much. Okay, this feed. Hey, Jared, I'm not sure what you're talking about, buddy, but if you don't want to see the feed, all you got to do is move on. You know what I'm saying? I haven't even drank a whole glass of wine yet, by the way. Let's see, I think Tyler shouldn't be able to have any crab cakes. Oh, yeah, no, she's going to get some crab cakes. So, anyway, um, does anybody have any questions about anything? If you do, let me know. And, um, Danny, uh, I'm a medium rare guy, man. Definitely medium rare. Um, more rare, like the rare side of medium rare. I'll say it like that. Um, but yeah, what do y'all cook tonight? Did y'all have, uh, did y'all cook anything out on the grill? Did you, uh, what are y'all doing? Let me know. Let me know. Um, how many people are still in here? Anyway. Okay. 28, 26. That's cool. Um, let me see. Come to Utah to go strawberry reservoir. You can fill four five gallon buckets with crawfish. Oh, no way. That's pretty cool. So, uh, Danon Evans said something about in Utah, go to the Strawberry Reservoir. You can fill four or five five-gallon buckets a night with crawfish. That's pretty good, man. That's a lot of crawfish. So if you can do that, knock yourself out. Save, save yourself some money and just go get some crawfish there. All right, crawfish, can I see? Yeah, so um, on, uh, on Sunday, actually uh, tomorrow I'm going to go visit um, the, the, the place – the people we're going to get the crawfish from. Uh, I'm going to go visit them. I'm going to take some pictures, some video. I might do a live feed from there. I'm not sure. Um, we're going to see how that goes. But, um, um, but yeah, so you'll see crawfish tomorrow. Um, and then I'm going to try to uh, get hooked up to where we can go and do a live feed where they actually bring in the crawfish and they sort them. And that, I think, would be really cool to see, too. Um, Dwight is doing burgers on the grill. That's right. Hey, ain't, ain't nothing wrong with burgers on the grill, man. So, um, so like I said, tomorrow, uh, I'm 10 o'clock in the morning, Central Time. I'm going to be pulling up to the place where we're going to get the crawfish. I'm going to probably do a live feed from there. If nothing else, I'm going to do video in there. I'm going to see how it goes. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me see. Rickhead pasta with uh, garlic buttered shrimp. Jim, venison sausage. Uh, very, uh, first try, very successful. All right, so you made your own venison sausage. Cool. So working here, long. Sh George is still working. Scott, buddy of mine, Dave Roberts, lives in New Orleans. Is that close to you? Yes. I actually, uh, I, I lived in New Orleans until last year. Now I live in Covington, which is like 45 minutes outside of uh, New Orleans. It's right across uh, Lake Pontchartrain. So, yeah, um, it's very close, bud. Kenny Franklin ordered our kitchen cabinets and tops tonight. Had a quick dip. All right, Kenny. Hey, man, how's your wife doing? Uh, Josh King, good morning, buddy. Uh, it's, it's nighttime here. So I think Josh, I know Josh, are, where are you at, Josh? Because I do remember seeing your name, and I can't 
can't remember uh, where you're at, though. Let me know. Let me know. All right. Let me check this. See how we're looking. Actually, so what I need to do. So normally I don't I don't uh, flip my crab cakes when I'm cooking them, but because the heat is so intense on the bottom, um, and it's not getting that heat coming down like you do in a broiler, I did have to flip them. But that's cool. It's just like almost like a pan fry. It's all good. Yeah, right. Middle East. That's what I thought, Josh. Because I remember seeing you. I think you were on Sunday's feed, um, or maybe even more than that. Uh, but I knew I'd seen your name. Um, and then you say good morning, and so you had to be on that side of the world somewhere. Uh, smoked mac and cheese with bacon. Nice, Kevin. Uh, buddy harvested two rams and one wild hog on Saturday. Had ribs and sausage yesterday. Wow, that is awesome. So how was that ram? I mean, that would be really interesting. I've never had ram. So, um, you need a bigger shovel. What? This thing ain't big enough? It's got something on it. That's not big enough? That's pretty big, man. Look, it's only as big as my face. I think you're just messing with me anyway, right? <clears throat> so, anyway, um, that's really almost it. I don't know. Let me see if, uh, a crab cake hopefully it'll be done soon and I pull the little one it looks like it's gonna be done really soon um, so I can probably pull that one out here in a second and show it to you and um, that would be my little snack <clears throat> so what else we got no more comments no more comments um, yeah so anyway uh, I'm kind of running out of stuff to say I'm really tired tonight and um, so if you guys don't have any questions, I'm going to run out of stuff to say, and then we'll be gone. So, but we've been on for 30 minutes now anyway, and it's late. It's really late for people. So look, I'm going to... So this is the small one. So <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it or not. Like the lighting in this is not very good. Mm. That was a, a big chunk of crab meat. I'm just letting it cool down just a little bit. And uh <clears throat> all right, Russell. So how many, let me see, take off man, see you later Bill, Josh, I'm done here, I'm moving back, good, come on, we can hook up, Bob says no grilling tonight, Bill, the ram was good, fatty but good flavor so I mean but you can work with that fat you can trim more off or whatever but um, it's better than not having enough fat and that's hard to cook on for 30 minutes and cooked nothing Jared you are not paying attention man what's wrong with the you don't like the crab cakes that I cooked oh nothing but crab meat that's what I'm talking about. 
right? So, Jared, you must have missed the beginning where I was talking about crab cakes. More light? Well, uh, let me do this. I got light over here. <clears throat> you see all that crab meat? So, nothing but crab meat. Hopefully, you can see that. Jared's busting my balls. <clears throat> so, um, so Jared, I, I'm sorry I disappointed you, buddy. But maybe what you should do is uh, come to <clears throat> Feast with the Beast on Sunday at 10, 10 o'clock on Sunday. And I do nothing but cook all time uh, for an hour. All right. But, um, and I'm about to throw these steaks on, but pretty, most likely you guys will be gone when I throw these steaks on. The um, asparagus has another minute or two, and then it'll be done. Then it'll be steak time. So I'm about ready to not wrap this up so I can finish up dinner. Kids are waiting on me. And um, uh, let me see a good-looking crab. Yeah, and that, and that was like the little crab cake, right? The, the, the other crab cakes, let me show you them bad boys. <clears throat> I mean, look how big that crab cake is right and like i i kind of messed it up but but you can see look at all the crab meat in there right dude these are like colossal crab cakes they are huge they are about done i'm gonna throw the steaks on in a minute the garlic bread uh solved who's jared i have no idea i don't know who jared is i have no idea um so anyway i don't know why he was busting my balls who knows who knows what's going on in people's lives um yeah so yeah uh i tell you what this crab meat i've gotten lots and lots of crab and i'm glad you brought that up rick because i've gotten lots of crab meat from different places to make crab cakes the amount of shells that are still in the crab meat is ridiculous and it's a lot of work to get those shells out um so one thing i've noticed so far with all this crab meat i have gotten zero shells okay zero so far uh and that is saying something i mean that's hard to do so um so anyway, look, I'm going to wrap this up. Let me see. Russell Knight just got home from bowling, and I ain't been bowling in a while. I love bowling. Um, but look, I'm going to wrap this up. I uh, I need to really pay attention when I'm cooking these steaks so I don't mess them up. And uh, once I start running my mouth, and honestly, I'm just, I'm getting very tired. Um, so anyway, y'all have a good night. Uh, it's been nice hanging out with y'all. I know it's really, really late for some people. It's almost midnight on the East Coast. Uh, anyway, y'all have a good night, all right?